Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's presentation, we will discuss exponential growth and decay. Before we continue, please visit my channel for more math lessons and tutorials. Thank you. In this video, we will examine situations where quantities are either increasing or decreasing exponentially. These situations are known as exponential growth and decay modeling, and these occur frequently in the world around us. Radioactive substances, and items that depreciate in value, usually decay exponentially. Population of animals, people, and bacteria usually grow in an exponential way. Look at the bacteria shown below. It started with just one, and then it doubles in a short span of time. It won't take long before it takes over the world, unless you got an antibacterial spray. Let's look at a population of 100 grasshoppers which under favorable conditions is increasing by 30% each week. To increase a quantity by 30%, we multiply by 1.3. If Pn is the population after n number of weeks, then, P0 equals 100. This is the original or starting population. After one week, P1, equals P0 times 1.3, so 100 times 1.3. And, after two weeks, P2, equals P1 times 1.3, so 100 times 1.3 squared. Then, after three weeks, P3, equals P2 times 1.3, so 100 times 1.3 cubed, and so on. From this pattern we see that the population after n number of weeks, Pn, is equal to 100 times 1.3 raised to n. So, the graph of the population is a smooth curve modeled by the exponential function, Pn equals, 100 times 1.3 raised to n. The first person to see microorganisms was probably the Dutch naturalist Antony van Leeuwenhoek, who in 1683 described some animalcules, as they were then called, in water, saliva, and other substances. These had been seen with a simple lens magnifying about 100 to 150 diameters. The organism seemed to correspond with some of the very large forms of bacteria as now recognized. Let's try example number one for growth of bacteria. The weight of bacteria, represented by WT, in a culture after T hours is given by the formula, WT, equals 100 times 2, raised to 0.3 T grams. Number one, find the initial weight. Number two, find the weight after 5 hours, 10 hours, and 24 hours. Number three, Sketch the graph. OK, in number 1, the initial weight is when t equals 0. So, if we substitute t equals 0 in the equation used to model the weight of the bacteria, we will get w0 equals 100 times 2, raised to 0 0.3 times 0. Therefore, the initial weight is w0 equals 100 grams. Now, in number 2a, the weight after 5 hours, is when t equals 5. So, if we substitute t equals 5 in the equation used to model the weight of the bacteria, we will get w5 equals 100 times 2, raised to 0.3 times 5. Therefore, the weight after 5 hours is w5 equals 282.8 grams. Next, in number 2b, the weight after 10 hours, is when t equals 10. So, if we substitute t equals 10 in the equation used to model the weight of the bacteria, we will get w10, equals 100 times 2, raised to 0.3 times 10. Therefore, the weight after 10 hours is, W10, equals 800 grams. Next, in number 2C, the weight after 24 hours, is when T equals 24. So, 
if we substitute T equals 24 in the equation used to model the weight of the bacteria, we will get W24 equals 100 times 2 raised to 0.3 times 24. Therefore, the weight after 24 hours is W24 equals 14,703.3 grams. Next, in number 3, sketching the graph of the exponential growth of the bacteria. We will use the ordered pairs we got from numbers 1 and 2. We can plot the points of the ordered pairs, 0 100, 5 283, 10 800, and 24 14703. And then connect these points using a smooth curve. This is now the graph of the exponential growth of the bacteria. Modeling exponential decay. Radioactive isotopes have many useful applications. In medicine, for example, cobalt-60 is extensively employed as a radiation source to arrest the development of cancer. Other radioactive isotopes are used as tracers for diagnostic purposes as well as in research on metabolic processes. Iodine-131 has proved effective in treating hyperthyroidism. Another medically important radioactive isotope is carbon-14 which is used in a breath test to detect the ulcer-causing bacteria Heliobacter pylori. Half-life, in radioactivity, the interval of time required for one half of the atomic nuclei of a radioactive sample to decay, change spontaneously into other nuclear species by emitting particles and energy, or, equivalently, the time interval required for the number of disintegrations per second of a radioactive material to decrease by one half. Let's say we have a radioactive substance, and its half-life is one hour. This means, it will take one hour to decay half of the substance. So if the initial weight of the substance is 10 grams, after one hour, it will have 5 grams left. After two hours, it will have 2.5 grams left. After 3 hours, it will have 1.25 grams left, and so on. Let's try to answer an example about exponential decay. The weight of a radioactive substance in T number of years after being set aside, is given by the equation, WT, equals 200 times 0 0.998, raised to T. Number 1. How much radioactive substance was initially set aside? Number 2. Determine the weight of the substance after 100 years, 500 years, and 1000 years. Number 3. Sketch the graph of the exponential decay. Ok, in number 1, the initial weight is when the number of years is t equals 0. So, if we will substitute T equals zero in the equation used to model the weight of the radioactive substance, we will get W0 equals 200 times 0 0.998 raised to zero. Therefore, the initial weight is W0 equals 200 grams. Next, in number 2A, the weight after 100 years is when T equals 100. So, if we substitute T equals 100 in the equation used to model the weight of the radioactive substance, we will get W100 equals 200 times 0 0.998 raised to 100. Therefore, the weight after 100 years is W100 equals 162.7 grams. Next, in number 2B, the weight after 500 years, is when T equals 500. So, if we substitute T equals 500 in the equation used to model the weight of the radioactive substance, we will get, W500, equals 200 times 0 0.998, raised to 500. Therefore, the weight after 500 years is, W500, equals 73.5 grams. Next, in number 2C, the weight after 1000 years, is when T equals 1000. So, 
If we substitute T equals 1000 in the equation used to model the weight of the radioactive substance, we will get W1000 equals 200 times 0 0.998 raised to 1000. Therefore, the weight after 1000 years is W1000 equals 27 grams. Next, in number 3, sketching the graph of the exponential decay of the radioactive substance. We will use the ordered pairs we got from numbers 1 and 2. We can plot the points of the ordered pairs, 0 200, 100 164, 574, and 1027. And then connect these points using a smooth curve, this is now the graph of the exponential growth of the bacteria. I hope I was able to help you learn about exponential growth and decay. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. Also, click the bell icon to get notified when I upload my next videos. Please share this video with your friends. Have a nice day.